Victor Vroom's expectancy theory of motivation is perhaps my favorite model of motivation. And my video on it is one of the most watched videos on this channel. If you haven't seen it, check it out because without that video, this one will make very little sense. Because Edward Lawler expanded on Vroom's model in a small but important way. A quick recap on Vroom's model, and this is not intended to replace watching the video. I'm not going to explain it in any great depth. So if you are not familiar with the model, there's a good chance you won't follow it from this recap. However, if you have watched the video, particularly if you watched it recently, then this will just refresh your memory. What Vroom said is that motivation is a combination of three things. Firstly, expectancy the degree to which we expect that if we put in the effort, we will get the results that are expected of us. Second, instrumentality, the degree to which we believe that getting the results that are asked of us will be instrumental in us being rewarded in the way that we are promised. And thirdly, valence, the extent to which the rewards we've been promised have a real value to us. So Vroom expressed motivation as a simple equation, the product of expectation, instrumentality and valence. If we genuinely believe that if we put in the effort, we'll get the results. And if we get the results, we'll get the reward. And if we get the reward, we'll value it. Then we'll be highly motivated. But if any link in that chain is broken or weak, then motivation will be low. And that makes a lot of good sense. For me, Vroom's model is one of the very best. However, Lawler took a look at the expectation part of that model and expanded it out. He realized that what Vroom expressed as one single concept was really two types of expectation. The first expectancy is the expectancy that the effort we put in will lead to the performance that we want. This is all about self-confidence and self-belief. If we believe we have the skills and if we believe that doing the work and applying those skills will get us the level of performance that we want, then this first expectancy will be high. However, this first expectancy isn't just about our confidence in our abilities. It's also about our assessment of the task. If we assess the task is too difficult for our level of ability, then our expectancy, our first expectancy will be low. If on the other hand, we assess the task as easy or certainly one that falls within our capabilities, then our expectancy will be high. The second expectancy is all about the relationship between the performance that we deliver and the outcomes that we get. If we believe that a, a strong level of performance will deliver the outcomes, then this second expectancy will be high. But you can see that in the real world that we can sometimes do all the right things and do them properly and still not get the results because other factors can intervene, other people can interfere, events can conspire against us. There is an element of luck in the outcomes that we achieve. So this second expectancy is to a large degree about the extent to which we believe we can control our outcomes. Or on the other hand, the degree to which we believe that our outcomes are largely a matter of chance or otherwise outside of our control. What Lawler's work gives us is a modified version of Vroom's expectancy equation. Now we have motivation as the product of the first expectancy times the second expectancy times the instrumentality times the valence. I think Lawler's enhancement of Vroom's expectancy theory is a good one. And I think it's a good one 
because I recognize that the two different levels of expectancy are real. In the way that I do my work, I do separate out the two ideas. Firstly, do I have the ability to achieve the performance level I want? And secondly, if I achieve the performance level I want, will I get the outcomes I'm hoping for? As a result, what I think that Lawler has done is to do us a really great favor in strengthening an already powerful and already useful model. Please do give us a thumbs up if you like this video. There's loads more great management courses content to come, so please do subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, and in the meantime, keep learning.